I know I've got a comeback in me. I know I have a comeback in me. <laughs> I went to college right out of high school and I failed miserably. Business changed and now my position requires you to have a BA. Time for me to grow and enter the second act of my life. I wanted that degree, so I decided to go back to school with Purdue Global. Learning should never stop. This is my comeback. This is my comeback. Start yours at purdueglobal.edu. Welcome to Purdue Global's fall commencement. The ceremony will begin momentarily, so we ask that you please silence your phones and keep the aisles clear. After the ceremony, please meet your graduate outside at the Engineering Fountain located behind the Elliott Hall of Music. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the Purdue Global graduating class.
Chancellor Dooley, the candidates have been assembled. Welcome to everybody. I'm Dr. Frank Dooley, Chancellor of Purdue University Global. Whether you're with us here on campus or participating from home, let me be the first to welcome you to our 18th commencement ceremony. Will all who are able please rise for the presentation of colors, the national anthem, and the retiring of colors. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> Please be seated and join me in thanking the Purdue University Army ROTC Color Guard. You certainly make us proud. And I don't know where Tawny Miracle went. She's who just joined us from Indianapolis with her beautiful voice. She'll be graduating today with high honors for her Master's of Science in Psychology. Her family's here somewhere and I bet they're so proud of her. We all are. Congratulations, Tawny. Now, I'd like to take the moment to ask our distinguished faculty and school administration to please stand and be recognized. So please stand. Yeah.
Thank you. I'd also like to introduce the dedicated members of our university administration and our keynote speaker who are joining today's celebration. Please stand for a moment when I announce your name and guess let's hold our applause till the end. Ms. Joanne Briette, Board of Trustees. Mr. Kevin Bowles, Student Trustee. Dr. Paul Bott, Board of Trustees. Dr. John Harbour, Provost. Dr. Carolyn Nordstrom, Chief Administrative Officer. Mr. Michael Lorenz, Vice President, Strategy and Academic Operations and Registrar. Dean and Vice President of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences and the School of Aviation, Dr. Sarah Sander. Our Mace Bearer, Faculty Senate President and Professor, Ms. Julie Torres Roman. And our keynote speaker, Mr. Cahill Cole, Purdue Global Alumnus, Class of 2022. Thank them all for joining us today. It's, it, it, this is a celebration, folks. That's why you're here, right? And last but not least, would all the Purdue Global and Purdue University staff who are assisting in implementing this memorable occasion please stand or wave so we can give you some thanks. Where are you? All right, I'm delighted we're able to celebrate your graduation here on campus where the history of Purdue began over 150 years ago. It's been my home for over 25 years. Both of my got daughters graduated with Purdue degrees and I got to be part of their support system just like some of you are sitting in those same seats. I hope that those in the audience had the opportunity to experience the campus and celebrate among the Purdue family. I'm thrilled that over 10,000 people affiliated with Purdue Global are on campus this weekend among our grads, your guests, faculty, and staff. And I also know that there are several Purdue and Purdue Global alumni here with us in the building. If you're alumni, would you please stand up and boiler up? You've got to experience it, and what a beautiful day we have, right? But it's also just an incredibly beautiful campus with so much rich history and tradition that you get to experience. You know, and this is the university that backs your university and your degree. If you haven't already, I hope you get to take a walk around campus, pose for some pictures. If you go that way, you can find the, the footsteps that Neil Armstrong took on the moon. Uh, and it's right next to Armstrong Hall. If you go out this door, it's the bell tower outside of Elliott Hall, which is kind of the center of campus. We are so grateful to be able to provide a ceremony that brings us all together, no matter where we are around the globe, either virtually or here in Elliott Hall. Graduates, it's quite remarkable at today's ceremonies, you will represent every state Places from around the globe like Aruba, Canada, Germany, India, Ireland, Japan, Singapore, Tunisia, and the United Arab Emirates. I love that we've learned how to remain close through this institution as we recognize your accomplishments today. Now I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest graduates that, you know, you, you truly are amazing, that's why you're here, but you didn't get to this moment to stay on your own. So, Balancing school, work, life is not easy. You leaned on family, friends, children, co-workers for encouragement and support throughout your journey at Purdue Global. So I know that each and every one of them are just as proud of you as I am, but let's take a moment to thank your support system and show them some appreciation. You're so fortunate to have a support system through your journey. All right, now if you're gonna give me a minute, I'm gonna add just a little bit to the ceremony because I recently had an incredible experience. 
The U.S. Navy runs a program where about 300 people a year get to spend time on a ship. And I got to spend time on the U.S. Nimitz, which is an aircraft carrier. And what this meant, I flew on a plane from San Diego, landed on the carrier. I should tell you just about that. You get in, they tell you buckle up tight. And you got two lap belts and two belts coming over your shoulders. You think you're in really snug. And then here comes this sailor and he grabs these two and he goes, Zook! and you're snug, right? It was incredible. We land on the carry. We spent about 30 hours on the carry. That meant we slept there. We got to experience so much, but we were there to see the work of the sailors and, and how they did their work and what their, what their lives were. It was incredible. There's 5,000 people on a carrier, which is just hard to fathom, right? So about 10 days after that, I'm sitting at a dinner next to an admiral. And he said, so what, do you, what did I take away from my time on the Nimitz? I said two things. Number one, I was astonished how many people under the age 20 or under were working on that ship. Virtually everyone is 19, 20 years old doing the work and doing incredible work. I said the second thing, and what the second thing is, brought a really big smile to his face. I said, I thought it meant to be in the Navy that your job was to say, yes, sir. You know, you're waiting to be told what to do. That, you couldn't be farther from the truth. Everywhere you looked as people were doing their assignment, they were engaged in a constant dialogue about that work. How, who, what, why, what's your job? Asking and answering questions and the level of engagement in their work was inspiring. And I came away with a greater appreciation for, for the wonderful men and women in the Navy. Thank you for your service. Uh, and it really is cool to land on a carry, I'll just say that. And the other thing is you get to be catapulted off too, so. All right, um, let's see. I couldn't be more proud of our Purdue Global military members. Let me just share a little bit. Purdue Global has a student body with over 4,700 active duty National Guard and Reserve members serving around the globe, 1,500 military family members, and about 3,000 veterans in school with us. So that's over 10,000 people affiliated with the military going to school at Purdue Global. Would each of you in the audience today who is an active service member or a veteran please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you so much for your service. Now, while I'm at it, let me share a little bit more what makes your class and your alma mater so incredible. Will the graduates today who are a first-generation graduate please rise and then keep standing. So a first-gen grad, you're the first person in your family to complete your degree. Don't sit down. And just so you know, I'm a first-gen grad and several on the, the platform are as well. All right, now you're still up? Good. Will the graduates who held a job or were in the service while attending school please rise and remain standing? And if you're already standing, put up your right hand. One more, one more. Will the graduates who cared for a child or other dependent while obtaining your degree please rise and remain standing? If you're already standing, put up that left hand. It's about half of you caring for a child or a dependent, so thank you. All right, you can be seated now. 
probably thought you're going to get to do the hokey pokey or something. Huh? All right. Um, and just for reference, in addition to all those here with us today, there were over 11,000 Purdue Global graduates who obtained a degree in the past year. And what you've done is incredible and remarkable because you completed your education while dealing with everything that life threw your way. And it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get to where you are today, and you should be incredibly proud because I am incredibly proud of you. Now, there's one of the things that we do at Purdue Global that makes me proud. Sometimes you go to graduation and you have these incredible celebrities as your graduation speaker. Well, we have an incredible celebrity. Uh, he's also getting his degree this afternoon, will be awarded. But Cahill Cole is also one of our alumni. So he graduated in 2022 with his Master's in Business Administration. He joins us from Atlanta, Georgia with his wife, Nicole, his daughter, Blake, who I think is 10, and somewhere there is Caleb, who is a four-year-old. So welcome to Cahill, come on up. So I do want to start by uh, thanking Chancellor Dooley uh, and the leadership from Purdue Global. Um, as I've had the opportunity to kind of sneak peek behind the curtain, uh, the energy that I feel in front of me is definitely matched by the group behind me. Uh, this production is not a business for, for the individuals behind me. Uh, it's something that's made with love, uh, compassion, uh, and deep thought. So thank you, Chancellor. I appreciate that. And you guys look amazing, right? Walking in, the energy's electric. Let's keep that going throughout. Um, absolutely. So what we're going to talk about today is building the dream, right? And my journey throughout Purdue Global. Um, I firmly believe in the power of building a dream uh, and know that dreams can come true every day. Uh, as I look at all of you in the crowd, uh, it's firm belief that dreams do come true. It's firm reinforcement that dreams do come true. Some of the key building blocks of building a dream are leadership, vision, communication, accountability, consistency, and of course, execution. My journey to get my MBA at Purdue Global was firmly built and established on all of those. Just remember though, leadership comes with a price. You often have to make decisions that impact those that you care about most. Uh, many times you don't get the opportunity to come back over it and explain those decisions when you're misunderstood. Like many today, I took some of those 10 p.m. Eastern classes so that I could do the things I needed to do to support at home, right? I would also change my son, Caleb, when he was two at the time. I would change him in the middle of courses, in the middle of sessions. I would always feel like I had to do something extra to make up for some of those times when I had to do reports, I had to have different class sections, I had to do different things. And I needed to get that credit, and I needed to be there from an attendance standpoint. The second building block of the dream is communication. When I started at Purdue Global, I told myself that I'd just take a few classes, see how it went. Honestly, I was nervous. I was afraid that I couldn't do it. I'd been working for 20 years, and in my mind, I was thinking, why would I do something that I had potential of failing at when I had reached certain heights in my career, and I felt really good about what I was doing? I leaned on my wife. She told me, whatever you needed, whatever you need to make this a reality, we got you. We got your back, we're gonna support you, we're gonna be there for you. Now, I also went to my kids and said that, and the theory was as long as it doesn't break into our fruit snacks, our, <laughs> our iPad time, time at the playground, go be great dad. So, it's funny, as I progressed in the classes and and you know, you would sit in there. Uh, one of the adjustments I had to make for my two-year-old at the time, Caleb is, he would come to the office. So anybody in that advanced level accounting class would hear that little guy say, I gotta go potty, I gotta go potty. That's him about 14 rows back. I had to get a TV in the office and connect it to Disney Plus and I think that was a win-win for us all. 
So another thing is all dreams are nurtured with communication uh, that helps with consistency and accountability. So my daughter helped me with a third building block accountability. Uh, she told me that if I finished school, she would get her black belt in jujitsu. When I started at Purdue Global, Blake was a yellow belt, basically starting the process, trying to navigate her way. Um, fast forward a few years, Blake will test for her junior black belt in January of 2024. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now that did come with fruit snack bribes, <laughs> jumpy house outings. Um, and it's funny, when I would challenge her, she would just say, hey, did you get that, that assignment in at 11.59? Isn't that what that alarm's for? I said, go do some push-ups, Blake. So, but yes, Blake has been tremendous with that. And although it was not always easy, accountability helped me reach these goals. In addition to having a vision, communication and accountability, I've also learned that great dreams are built on consistency. So I decided to write a children's book. I sat on it for about a year and a half, almost two years. Every time family members or friends would come over for different dinners or engagement, my wife would say, hey, you know, Cahill wrote a, a children's book. And people would say, oh, that's awesome. So one time, a friend of ours who's a chef in Atlanta, he came over and he told uh, Nicole said, hey, you know, Cahill wrote a children's book. I don't know why he doesn't publish it. Chef said, well, you know what? I just published a cookbook and it only took me two weeks. So if you can imagine the stare that I got. <laughs> and those were my friends, not my wife's friends. So, hey, friendly fire here. So long story short, about a month later, I published those books. Um, Leap of faith, as you'll call it. And my life changed, right? Th those books uh, have been in school systems, in our local library. Um, there's been a lot of publicity about them and not sure that I'm necessarily comfortable with that, but it, it kind of came with the territory. And, you know, I, I thought to myself, where would I be without people pressing me and, and embracing my dream, embracing my goals, pushing me out there to leap? Fast forward, two, 3,000 books have been sold or either another two or 3,000 donated to school systems to help underprivileged youth. That's just firm consistency, or proof that consistency pays off, right? Funny story, we were at a library engagement where they were talking about different authors and different books, and uh, I was in the corner walking around, kind of mingling, and uh, someone said, hey, we have this author uh, from Georgia, his name's Cahill Cole, and I'm not sure why I didn't hear my name, and, and someone tapped me and said, hey, isn't that your book? And the purpose of this is, Embrace it, right? You're destined for greatness, even greater than we've already achieved. Don't hide from the success. We go out on faith. There's so many things that we can do to impact the society that, that it is now and make it better than it already is. But embrace those challenges, right? Embrace those opportunities. Don't be afraid to step out because without what we do as a collective, the world won't be as great as it can be. There is definitely greatness in elite level people in our audience. One of the things I'm most proud about with Purdue Global, it, it helped me uh, and others focus, it helped me sharpen my tools, it helped me understand when to raise my hand, when to sit down, right? Slow down, grasshopper. Sometimes we, we get ahead of ourselves. It also helped me understand that some things I thought I did well, I didn't. Other things that I was preventing myself from trying, I should really do that because I, I could be great at that. The instructors were A plus and tremendous and really had empathy and care every step of the way. I always felt like execution was the final stage. The reality is execution of the process is the beginning of the next chapter. Once we finish here, it's our time to go do something else take another step, put another building block in place, go even further than that. Throughout my journey at Purdue Global, I've made some tremendous lifelong friends. Uh, it's funny, during my capstone class, one of our buddies, his name was Joe, we had six or eight classes together. He said, I'm gonna go franchise a Chick-fil-A. 
We're like, let's do it. Like, help, we'll help you do the business plan. We'll figure that thing out. We're in this thing together, right? We're a band of brothers, as they say. So unfortunately, Joe didn't get the Chick-fil-A, so we all said, you know what? We're gonna boycott Chick-fil-A. We ain't going. <laughs> now, I'm from Georgia, okay? <laughs> Chick-fil-A is kind of a rite of passage where I, where I live. So we did boycott. I was the first to come off the picket line um, about a week, right? We lasted a week. Now, I got little kids, too, so I, I, I need a little, little grace there. Um, but the funny thing is we used what we learned in class to pivot, right? We didn't give up. We didn't get discouraged. And the funny thing is Joe drove forward. He ran through the brick wall. And for him, he got a better opportunity that helped him identify other franchise opportunities and gave him more time at home to be the dad that he is, that he wanted to be, that he was conflicted with the opportunity originally about. So it's tremendous. And for my kids, right, that traumatic week-long Chick-fil-A boycott, I was able to send them to, on a Disney cruise, so now we're back on good graces. <laughs> Like many of you, my life has been built on the impossible. Uh, my parents and my sister inspired me early on throughout my life. Uh, my childhood friends gave me the belief that I could be great. Uh, my wife and my kids let me know that there's nothing impossible on a daily basis. I've been truly blessed and lucky and fortunate to write some children's books, uh, invest in some, some really promising startups, uh, I'm most proud that I've been able to mentor tons of young people and impact their lives. I was even able to executive produce uh, a movie by the great Jamal Dado. Um, you know, my career is a dream come true. Saying that, uh, completing my MBA, standing in front of this group is by far the pinnacle of my professional career. Seeing all of you as dream builders and accomplishing your goals is surreal. One of my colleagues, actually, Mindy Ricketts, is also graduating virtually this evening. Sharing this experience with you all, your family, is a tremendous, tremendous blessing for me. I just want to tell everyone here, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. When we leave, that doesn't mean we're going to get the next opportunity, but that means we're prepared for it. If we're told no, we know how to pivot. We know how to adjust. And look to your right and left and look behind you. We have everything we need in this room. Make sure you connect with somebody here. We don't need to leave this place looking for someone to help with marketing or communication or accounting or a risk management firm. They're in here. They're in this room. Let's utilize our resources to be great. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Cahill. It's so inspiring to hear the stories from our alumni about their careers, their accomplishments, their families, their experiences. Graduates like Cahill, you continually persisted in your pursuit of completing your studies and earning your degree. The stories that you share with us show that you've had your comeback and are on to the next chapter of your life and career. And on to more highlights of our outstanding graduates. First, we have our master's graduates. So they're the ones wearing hoods, but when I say hoods, what I mean is behind me. These hoods symbolize high achievement. You see a variety of colors as each one represents the graduate's program of study. Those who have earned a master's degree make up only nine in a hundred of the nation's population, so you're part of a special group. Will the master's candidates please rise and be recognized? I think they would have kept cheering, so. Uh. And a special congratulations to the master's graduate wearing the white and gold cord. This symbolizes their very high GPAs. All right.
We are also proud to recognize graduates who have earned academic honors by achieving a high cumulative grade point average in their associate or bachelor's program. The graduates who have cum laude honors are wearing white cords to recognize their achievement. Will the graduates who earn cum laude honors please rise? There, there, yes. Please be seated. Graduates who earned magna cum laude honors have earned a high cumulative GPA of at least 3.8 and they're wearing silver cords to recognize their achievement. It's wonderful to see. Will you please rise so we can recognize you? <laughs> so a long time ago, I used to coach girls softball and you get to the end of the season and everyone wants to be recognized, but not too much. We got this. Finally, we have the associate and bachelor's degree graduates who have demonstrated exemplary ability and discipline by earning a 4.0 GPA, which means A's in all of their courses at the university. Summa cum laude graduates, stand up and show off those gold cords. What an incredible achievement, it's wonderful. All right, graduates, the day's about you. It's a day to celebrate. And finishing a degree can bring about a flurry of emotion. You shared your sentiments and how you feel, and these are some, some of the meaningful reminders that all of you have accomplished to get to where you are today. We love to see your smiling faces, and we share in your pride and your excitement. Now, it's time for the reason we're here today, recognizing our graduates. Yeah. Graduates, we'll begin inviting you to the stage, and as you approach the stage, remember to bring the card with your name on it. You will hand it to the attendant who will let you know when to walk across the stage. You're gonna be greeted by Dean Sander or myself, I now turn it over to Dr. Sander from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. In the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, please rise. Chancellor Dooley, these graduates have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, and with the approval of the faculty, they are now being presented to you to be formally recognized for their degree. Thank you, Dr. Sander. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you a master's, bachelor's, associate, or certificate with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of this great achievement, you will now be formally recognized. Please be seated. <coughs> Excuse me. I invite the marshals. Now the first row you can stand up again because you're going to start coming to the stage. Marshals, will you please escort the candidates from the College of Social behavioral sciences to the stage. And while they're starting to come, some of our friends and faculty and staff from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences could not be here today, but wanted to send a special message. So let's take a look. Congratulations, graduates. Job well done. Congratulations, graduates. You did it. You've worked so hard, you've overcome so many obstacles, and you've achieved your success. Congratulations again, enjoy your wonderful day. Congratulations, graduates. We're honored to celebrate your graduation with you. Boiler up, folks. Congratulations, 2023 graduates. 
You have journeyed and you have now reached your destination. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your future. Now go out and make a difference in this world. Boiler up. The following candidates are graduating from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jody Ames. Today's keynote speaker, Cahill Cole. Emma Baker. Hilda Aka. Marsha Adell. Ashley Albright. Zainab Ademelola Bulogun Peoples, U.S. Air Force. Mariah Armstrong. Carolina Ben. Nicole Ball. Ebony Bonds. Zachary Basso, U.S. Marines veteran. Taria Borden Henderson. Stephanie Benish. Jessica Bowman. Justine Bennett. Danielle Bryant. Kelly Best, graduating with her sister, Jody Wallace. Brianne Camacho. Inger Candler. Michelle Chivant. Todd Brewer. Chelsea Claypool. Janet Cameron. Robin Kaufman. Alyssa Chemitsky. Catherine Coles. Reed Klingenpeel. Jada Cook. Sydney Coleman. Victoria Crutchfield Blair. Casey Camilla. Janine Cox. Samuel Bortsu. Richard Cruz. Kadeen Cunningham. Christy Culpepper. Rosanna De La Cruz. Kelly Dawson. Benjamin Denson. Rosa De La Puente. Kaylee Dossett. Jesenia Diaz. Sam Eads. Dawn Dobbins Gross.
Abigail Edoria. Elizabeth Douglas. Carlotta Engdiger, U.S. Army veteran. Romy Echeverria. Todd Ferrand. Emily Elmore. Kayla Foley. Dinah Fernandez. Jordan Fraser. Tiffany Ford. Tiffany Galloway. Mackenzie Gallagher, U.S. Navy veteran. Kenneth George. Elaine Gatewood. Miriam Godinez. Alexis Gill. Haley Golter. Lauren Gilmore, graduating with her daughter, Al Perkins. Alexa Gray. Ashley Aranda. Michio Patanaka. Maxwell Golden. Cynthia Hill. Lidsky Gonzalez. Bianca Hollins. Kiara Gaucher. Rhonda Rabchek, U.S. Air Force veteran. Samantha Grubman. Nico Hughes Taylor. Kimberly Harper. Raymond James, U.S. Army veteran. Laura Herring. Scott Jenkins. Natasha Holland. Sierra Casper. Fredessica Howard, U.S. Army veteran. Taylor Cole. Angela Huger. Caroline. Adia Hulan. Shaquana Nelson. Today's vocalist, Tawny Miracle. Damilola Jagede. Matthew Layel. Lisa Jewell. Martha Lee. Faith Killian. Caitlin Long. Alice Krieger, U.S. Army. Shelby Mansfield. Shaney Lane. Lily Rose McElwee.
Lisa Mack. Catherine Lehman. Ralph Miles. Ebony Lesur. Amy Miner. Julia Molson. Micah Moore. Sylvia Matthews Amin. Emily Noy. Cortesia McReynolds. Andrew Oliver. Morgan Meyer. Reginald Owens, U.S. Army veteran. Rachel Merkin. Hannah Fotenhauer. Kimberly Pittman. Kidani Kirandogu Feliciano. Linda Moore. Aliyah Raychak. Marjorie Arconge. Holly Roberts. Zachary Muller. Stacy Rumba. Kelly Nixon. Brianna Sanders. Heather Ash. Michelle Smith. Carla Phillips, U.S. Air Force veteran. Summer Schroeder Miller. Daniel Proctor. <laughs> Galenda Summer. Caitlin Rowan. Maha Bala Taylor. U.S. Marines. Michelle Reuter. Ashley Thomas. Leonardo Rodriguez. Rick Towers. Mark Rutowski. Tiffany Vito. Shaiba Sandu. Michelle Washington. Kelly Schrage. Jayla Watkins, U.S. Army. Crystal Stone. Portia Williams. Aiden Sutton. Heather Wirtz. Edna Jaquette. Courtney Troyer. Keith Woolens. Rachel Wagner. Nicole Welsh. Rakita Langhorn. Edwin Sotomayor. Sharia Weiss.
Luis Kubian. Deidre Wood. Raven Pratt. Janelle Ewing. Kristen Arnold. Derek Worthington, U.S. Army veteran. Heather Atherton, U.S. Marines. David Zamora. Zandria Bilu. Christina Alexander. Donna Rose Berry. Rebecca Lagunas. Adria Bonner. Andres Quintana. Patricia Brown. Sharon Porter. Kira Burton. Lauren Armas, U.S. Marines veteran. Joy Caro. Teresa Arnold, U.S. Air Force veteran. Divina Chavez, U.S. Air Force. Kylie Beck. Ashley Clark, U.S. Army. Julissa Benavides. Kathy Correa. Samuel Black. Julio Delgado, U.S. Army. Madison Bond Greco. Andre Dowie, U.S. Army. Albion Bowers. Amanda Foley. Peyton Bryant. Maurice Franklin. Tiffany Charchani. Tad Tadney Frierson. Gail Chandler. Irasima Garcia Escalera, U.S. Army. Christy Christian. Caitlin Garland. Brandon Clem. Christy Giant. Riley Coslow. Krista Hall. Erica Doherty. Bridget Ham. Cassandra Harris. Dawn Della Maggiore. Joy Holt. Lisa Dugan. Kimberly Hudson. Yesenia Jackson. Shelby Enos. Haley Jarrett. Aaliyah Espinosa. Nicole Jewett. Christina Folks. Malia Jones. Danielle Frederick. Z 
Zoe Jacqueline Adams. Angelica Fuentes. Daisha Kelly. Caitlin Gardner. Nicholas Kemp, U.S. Navy veteran. Christina Garrison. Lauren Colazar. Caitlin Green. Leela Crop, U.S. Navy. Mackenzie Hamilton. Miranda Harrell. Shanisa Lee. Taylor Harrison. Jason Linzer. Madeline Jackson, U.S. Navy veteran. Ashley Luden. Giselle Jacobson. Jennifer McCaller. Christian Jenkins. Maddie Malady. Najiang. Sabrina Mantoven. Erica Keating. Melissa Matlock. Sharmika Kelly. Heather McDowell. Faith Kirstner. Diamond Metcalf. Megan Crayenbuehl. Christopher Mitchell. Kylie Linz. Constance Malorchwa. Shannon Long. Allison Mann. Cassandra Lute. Am I happy? Theopia Moore. Mallory Mahaffey. John Morin, U.S. Marines. Jason McDonald. She's got to say. Andressa Mota. Dayanita Majeski. Alexis Murd, U.S. Air Force veteran. Martin Metzler IV. Mahalia Knapper. Kashanda Mobley. Jessica Noakes. Sierra Moore. Shayla Pabuchek. Megan Morton. Victoria Perez Aldrich. Amy Mottmiller. Jessica Pudlow. Anna Murphy. Elizabeth Rabe. Jonathan Wahar, U.S. Army. 
Samantha Ramirez. Ashley Ortiz. Jamie Rathgaber. Giovanni Perez, U.S. Army. Olivia Rayberger. Kayla Phillips. Megan Reynolds. Tamara Price. Jenna Robbins. Nicole Pullen. Brooke Rogers. Hannah Raskin. Aliyah Rufen. Emily Reese. Larissa Salinas. Nicholas Reynolds, U.S. Army. Glenn Samples. McKenna Robb. Phoebe Schiff. Luis Rosario. J. Ron Searcy. Rose Signs. Stephen Simpson, U.S. Navy. Turntorn Sabat, U.S. Army. Sonia Slavin. Sarah Sanderson. Eddie Smith III. Stephanie Schneider. Joshua Strachewski. Brielle Seeley. Jill Stutzman Kanata. Kaylee Streeter. Nicole Ashley Tabiolo. Teofila Taylor. Taylor Alexis Tensley. Tanya Thomas. Brianna Trout. Brittany Trout. Renee Truman. Gina Ullman. Rebecca Nikki Vasquez. Vaughn. Elizabeth Vichaud. Pamela Vieta. Danielle Walls. Danielle Wadey, U.S. Army. Lori Wheeler. Jamie Washington. Dustin Young, U.S. Army. Mary Wysong, U.S. Army veteran. Robert Caldwell, U.S. Army. Danielle Zalesak. Christina Dixon. Siobhan Carter. Stacy Fillingham. Brittany Jennings. Tiffany Godby. 
Clifford Manuel, U.S. Army. Autumn Jackson. Shay Thomas. Mariah Cord. Patrick Humphrey, U.S. Army. Katie Legg. Jordan Donaldson, U.S. Marines. Jeanette Ella Hall Powers. Michaela Moore. Jana Tackett. Janessa Paula. Amber, Amber Noel. Blaze Phoenix. Noe Reyes, U.S. Army. Jessica Owens. Danielle Salazar. Luis Rodriguez Ruiz, U.S. Army. Mia or Maya? Mia Smith. Marilini Pedraza. Lakeland Ziegler. Gabrielle Flamer. Kirsty McLavy. Ashley Thompson. Priscilla Washington. Tonisha Brown. Carrie Oliver. Princess Ahimrin, I'm sorry, Princess Ahimrin Nosier. Asia Ragland. Emily Kossoff. Bernice Morgan Johnson. I just have to uh, congratulate the crowd. You've got this celebration thing down. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're almost at the finish line. Family and friends, please remain seated to keep the aisles clear until the faculty and all the graduates have exited the theater. And then you're going to have to find them somewhere outside near the fountain after the ceremony. It's now time for what we call the ceremonial tassel turning. Graduates, please rise. Graduates participating from home, please on, put on your cap and tassel if you're not already wearing them. 
As the Chancellor of Purdue University Global, I now invite you to participate in the tradition that will signify your new status. Graduates, as you're now part of the graduating class of 2023 Purdue University Global, you may change your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. One more thing. We've got to teach you one of these Purdue traditions we have. We like to say, boiler up, hammer down, hail Purdue Global. So let's all do that. Boiler up, hammer down, hail Purdue Global. All right. <laughs>